New state laws will take effect this week. It's the product of this year's work by the General Assembly. Bodie Brooks has been digging through the legislation and has details about the new laws that deal with crime and punishment. Let's start with protecting kids. Cammie's law makes abuse of a child under 12 punishable by 10 to 20 years. The law championed by an Oldham County 7th grader. A bill by Senator Danny Carroll requires a blood or urine test if police suspect a parent or caregiver of being under the influence when a child dies suspiciously. If the person declines the request, uh, then it's uh, up to the uh, law enforcement officer to seek a search warrant. Several bills enhance penalties for some crimes, including raising them to a felony. Senator David Yates tackling the issue of porch pirates with Senate Bill 23. The way we drafted our statue 40 years ago, Kentucky specifically mentioned the United States Postal Service. Other states wasn't so narrow. The courts interpreted that to exclude some of the Amazon, FedEx, and things that we see today. Swatting is now also a felony, a practice commonly seen online when someone makes a fake phone call to police to target someone else. Representative Philip Pratt filing the bill after a close call in Georgetown. The Scott County Sheriff took this situation where someone made a fake 911 call said they basically killed the family, was holding hostages. They realized something was wrong. They defused this very quickly. Jail time will also be harsher on crimes such as incest and those that happen in an emergency or natural disaster. But not every law was about making the criminal justice system tougher. Senate Bill 90 offers possibilities for alternate sentences for minor offenders in favor of access to mental health care. Everyone agrees these folks could benefit from this care. And I think if they get involved in this care, they may actually stop becoming justice-involved individuals. For now, the bill is just limited to pilot programs in various counties. House Bill 269 also extends protections to mentally ill criminals, making them no longer eligible for the death penalty if they had symptoms when the crime happened. It in no way absolves defendants of legal responsibilities for their crimes. They can still be tried, convicted, and sentenced to lengthy prison terms, including life without parole. Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.